Welcome. Thank you so much for joining us on the mat today. Our practice about focus. So much coming at us, right? And we want to really be present, be able to pay attention to what's important to us, right? Our loved one talking to us, something that we are working on or playing at uh, this moment, this life unfolding, the magic within it. So we are going to start with the alternate nostril breathing, which really helps to focus the mind. And then through our practice, we're going to work with the drishti, which is the Sanskrit name for the focus, the, the stilling of the eyes to help still the mind. Okay. Do we get a, a thumbs up or a two thumbs up on that? Does that sound good? <laughs> awesome. Thank you. Okay. So in the seated shape, if there's something you can lean back against, go ahead. If there's a chair you want to sit on, go ahead. Put something on your lap so that your right elbow can rest on the cushion. And if you prefer, you could simply cup your right elbow with your left palm. So this is a wonderful breath meditation to really help us focus and also to help balance the two hemispheres of the brain. And we, what we're going to do is we're going to take our peace fingers and we're going to put them at brow point. And so they're just going to settle in here at brow point. And your inner gaze, so your inner drishti is to where you feel those two fingers pressing into your brow point. And then as you open up your hand, your thumb will be able to touch your right nostril and your third finger, maybe baby finger, be able to touch your left nostril. Okay, so just get comfy here, make any adjustments you need. Yeah, nice job, good. Okay, take an exhale through both nostrils. With your thumb, close your right nostril. Inhale left for one, two, three. Close left, open right. Exhale, one, two, three. Inhale right, one, two, three. Close right, open left. Exhale, one, two, three. Inhale left, one, two, three. Close left, open right. Exhale, one, two, three. Inhale right, one, two, three. Close right, open left. Exhale, one, two, three. Doing great. Inhale left, one, two, three. Close left, open right. Exhale, one, two, three. Inhale right, one, two, three. Close right, open left, exhale, one, two, three. Last round, inhale left, one, two, three. Close left, open right, exhale, one, two, three. Inhale right, one, two, three, close right, open left, exhale, one, two, three. Beautiful. Keep peace fingers where they are. Both nostrils open, drishti, inner gaze at brow point. Simply breathe, natural breath. And so notice how this breath practice, Nadi Shodhana breath, helps not only to quiet the mind, but to focus the mind. So inner drishti at brow point. We still the eyes, just still the mind. And as you're ready, bringing the right palm down to chest to heart center. Let your inner drishti follow. So your drishti is at heart center. Perhaps bring your left palm up. So both palms pressing into heart center to really feel the presence, this hug at heart center. Inner drishti here. So come home here. What we pay attention to 
Bring a little more energy, a little more aliveness with this attention. And so notice what is present for you. How are you feeling today? Now, if you're unwilling to judge it, simply notice. Mm -hmm. Good. And then from this awareness, set your intention. What you need from the practice. So glad you are here joining us. What do you need from the practice? Set your intention. Nice. Now with your next inhale, draw your intention deep into your mind, your body, and your heart. Exhale here. Together, inhale here, full breath, filling right up in heart center. Exhale here. One more, full breath, filling up heart center, full. And sigh it out. <sighs> Beautiful. Now you can keep your eyes softly closed if that's comfortable. Just let your arms come down. And let the cushion that you have, I'll back up a little so you can see me. Let the cushion that you have go onto the floor in front of you and simply fold forward. Just a really easy forward fold. And so you can bring your forehead down onto the cushion. If that's way too far down or that's like too much sensation in the hips, just let your elbows rest on the cushion and your face come into your palms. So just taking a very gentle forward fold. You can move into this however it feels best for you. So if you want to go deeper into the hips, just move the cushion, your torso further forward, less so, be up a little higher. <clears throat> But where you feel either your palms or the cushion, or the backs of your hands pressing into your forehead, let your inner gaze return here. So this is your inner drishti. So much, right? Especially these days, so much that is pulling our attention away. You watch the debate. <laughs> so much anxiety and angst. What is happening? Come present, drishti, mind's eye. One more breath here. And slowly walk it back up. Change the cross of your legs. So the unfamiliar cross of your legs. And again, just simply let your torso come forward. You could stay a little higher. And if your palms are your face is resting in your palms and your baby fingers can be pressing into the brow point. And so a way to settle the eyes, still the eyes to still the mind, a way to stimulate that third eye, inner wisdom, intuition. So that not only are we present, we are also attuned to that beautiful inner wisdom within. Two more breaths here. One more. Let it go. Nice. And slowly rising up. Let your cushion go out to the side. And then slowly coming on to hands and knees. Now, if hands and knees aren't comfortable for you, use, if you've got a blanket nearby, just put that underneath your knees for a little more cushioning, or you could do this movement that we're going to do in seated. So hands are coming under your shoulders, spread your fingers nice and wide, and feel a stretch. If they've been on the keyboard a lot, stretch them out. Press into the finger pads and suction the center of the palms. Knees are underneath your hips. Neutral spine to begin with, 
And then as you exhale, turn your tailbone towards the earth. Let that movement ripple up the spine. And then chin comes in towards your chest. So very mindful of this movement. As you inhale, tailbone. Tailbone turns up towards the sky. Let that movement ripple up your spine until crown of the head turns towards the sky. Exhaling, tailbone turns towards the earth. Movement ripples up the spine until the very last crown of head to earth, chin into chest. And then inhaling, tailbone turns up. Movement ripples up, all the way up, crown of head up towards the sky. One more time as you exhale, tailbone tucks. And that movement comes up, mid back, upper back, crown of head turns towards the sky, the earth, sorry. And then slowly begin your own breath pattern and let the movement become however it feels best in your body. So you might do that rippling up and down the spine. You might let it go globally or Tailbone and crown of head are moving together. Yeah, Nancy, nice. You might let the hips go a little side to side if they want to feel a little loosening. So take a few breaths here and let the movement just arise however it feels good in your body. Starting with the different movement so that we're more mindful of it and then going now into something a little more free form as you need. Take one more pulse. And slowly arriving in stillness, neutral spine. Good. Now right here, bring your knees together underneath you. We're going to send our right leg back. Float it up without lifting the hip. Let the hips be square to the earth. Lift the leg up so you feel a little more in the tush. You could have just the leg or you could also reach the arm forward, left arm forward. So we're going to lengthen out of the limbs, get longer through limbs, through spine. Inhale. As you exhale, draw it all together underneath you and just wake up the core. Inhale, lengthen, maybe lift for a little back body strengthening. And then exhale, squeeze it all under. Inhale, lengthen and lift. Strong legs, strong arms, strong spine. Exhale, squeeze it all under, strong core. And now lengthen, and let's rest here a moment. So a little balance here, your gaze is down, drishti is to the mat. Notice when your eyes want to move, keep them still. Take one more breath, reach the limbs long and lift for strength. And then slowly, Set your hand and your knee down. Knees are side by side, toes point back. Come into child's pose and just leave your palms rooted into the earth. So you feel a lengthening through your arms and maybe even use your fingers to walk the arms, the hands forward a little bit more. Welcome to your fur baby, Tia. <laughs> Welcome to your fur baby, Nancy. Yeah, feel, now take your tailbone back. Take your tailbone back in a little longer in the spine. And wherever your forehead meets the earth, let your drishti be there. One breath, inhale. And exhale. Slowly rising up. Now as you rise up, we'll take it to the other side. So left leg goes back. And then we're going to float it up. Keep the hips square. If you're not sure, just reach under your belly and feel where the right hip is and if there's a left hip level with it. But you can stay here with just the leg lifted if you like or take your right arm forward. You're going to reach out of the limbs, feel limbs and spine lengthening. Inhale. Exhale, squeeze it all under you and feel your core strengthening. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, squeeze it under, nose to knee, maybe inhale, reach and lengthen. 
Exhale, squeeze it under. Yes, nice. Okay, reach and lengthen. Now set your gaze, set your drishti. Nice, Hidoka, set your drishti. Beautiful. See if that right arm can come a titch higher. Let's, that's it, very nice. Gaze is steady. As sensation builds, the eyes wanna move, keep them steady. One more breath, inhale, lengthen and lift, strengthen. Awesome, set the hand and the knee down, beautifully done. Take your knees wide this time. Yeah, beautiful. Or do you want to keep them narrow if you like and go back into child's pose. Yeah, just go to where it feels best for you. The wider the knees, the deeper into the hip joints. So if you want to be a little softer in there, keep the knees narrower. And then it's going to be more in the spine and the low back especially. That's it. And wherever your forehead is meeting the earth, there's your drishti. There's your drishti. One more breath, inhale, you got it, Lynn, inhale. And exhale. Very nice. Slowly rising back up onto hands and knees. You have that blanket under your knees, just take it out to the side again, spread your fingers nice and wide. We're going to take an exhale and draw navel to spine. Now root into your hands and into the balls of your feet and lift up to a bent knee downward facing dog. We're going to flow here. Slowly, a little core strength, return your knees either all the way to the earth or hovering and then slowly rise back up. Strong core, strong legs, bent knee downward dog. And then very slowly, one more time. These are gonna hover or all the way down, Yogi's Choice. And then slowly rise back up, downward facing dog. Keep your knees bent in downward facing dog. Take a moment and take your gaze towards your knees or towards your belly button, tailbone towards the earth. And then take your gaze forward between your hands and tailbone to sky. Just one more time. Just want to find a little bit of movement here so we can set our drishti together. Take your gaze to knees or belly, tailbone to earth, and then take your gaze forward between your hands, tailbone to sky. And then come back to your down dog. And let your gaze be somewhere between your feet or your knees or up towards your belly. Set your gaze. Set your drishti. And then let the pose unfold. So the hands press down and forward. The feet press down and back. So limbs lengthening right here. And then as you root into your hands and root into your feet, send your tailbone up to the sky. Spine lengthening. Take one more breath and really let your head hang heavy. <sighs> Lovely. Bend your knees very deeply and walk it forward to the top of the mat and take your forward fold at the top of your mat. Nice. And do whatever you want to do here. A nice, generous bend in your knees. A little movement in your head to check out that, yeah, my head is hanging. But yeah, nice. Good. Good job, Joan. Yeah, just move your head around. Maybe stick your tongue out. Move your tongue around. Nobody's looking. <laughs> yeah, just release the jaw. That's it. Sway side to side. You can just move your arms a little up and down and just feel the back of your shoulders releasing. Like, let it feel good. That's why we're here. We want to feel good in our body. Yeah, nice. And then slowly come back to center. And just for a moment, take your hands and interlace at the back of your neck and see if you can get a little more length at the back of your neck. Give many of us a little more time, even in this moment, in the Zoom happening. One more time on the computer. See if we can just lengthen out the back of your neck. Just take one more breath here. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Release your hands. Let them find your ankles. 
Slowly start to roll up to standing. Take your time. Roll up to stand. Let your arms stay by your side as you come up to standing. And with your arms by your side, hands at your thighs, do a little rolling through the shoulders. Let your hands rest on your thighs and you'll get a little more release, yeah, in the shoulders. And at each rotation, have a little wider circumference. Just get it a little bit wider as you scoop the shoulders around, like you want to touch your ears. Go back and then press all the way down. Yeah, good. Let's take one more. So in our mountain pose, we're going to do a little more waking up in our back body. So bring your feet about hip width this way, right? Make sure the feet are parallel to the sides of the mat. So for many of us, that means our heels need to go a little wider. So you can take a peek at that. So they're maybe a little wider than your toes. And we're going to take our arms up overhead. Reach it up. We'll take a moment, interlace the fingers, and then press the palms up to the sky just to get a nice stretch in the fingers and the forearms. And if we've had a lot of time at the pier, that's going to feel really, really alive in there. <laughs> and then point your fingers back up to the sky. I'm going to take an inhale here. And as you exhale, turn your palms forward, bend your elbows, bring them down. And it's like you want to touch them behind you, just behind your back ribs. And maybe your gaze goes up a little bit. And then inhale, look straight forward, palms touch overhead. And again, turn the palms to face forward, bend your elbows, and hug those elbows in behind you. And your drishti might naturally go a little higher. And one more time, take it up, palms touch, and turn the palms to face forward, bend your elbows, and snuggle, good, snuggle those elbows behind you, set your drishti. And feel, as you push, you watch your elbows to touch behind you. Do you feel that strength in your back body? Now turn your palms to face the sky. And lengthen your arms out. And maybe your drishti goes a little more skyward. Keep a little bend in your knees if you're feeling any sensitivity in the low back. Keep that strength, elbows hugging in at back body. Take one more breath, inhale. And exhale. Nice. Slowly coming up, let the palms touch overhead. Very nice. Turn the palms to face away. A generous bend in your knees and swan dive fold all the way down. Your hands are going to scooch up your shins. Then we're going to press into our shins to lengthen the spine. So your tailbone wants to go back. Crown, your drishti is to the earth. Crown of the head is forward. You're rooting into the shins to get more length through the spine. You could stay here. You could bring your palms together in front of your chest. You're going to feel a little more strengthening in legs, in back body. You could float your arms out to the side. You could lift your arms a little higher, a little micro bend in your elbows and feel all that beautiful strength in your back body. Inhale. And wherever you are at, exhale and fold down. Let it go. Really nice. Really nice. Well done. And then whatever you'd like here, and it can be really nice just to move the arms up and down a little bit. And now you're going to feel a nice release where you were just strengthening, right? In the back body, back of the shoulders. Yeah, make sure the fingers touch the earth there, Nancy, so that you've got a little more release. When the, yes, that's the way. Good. Take one more breath. Inhale. And exhale. Good. So a nice deep bend to your knees. Let's step our right foot back to the back of the mat. And let's put our right knee down to the earth. And so we're going to do a little bit of movement through the hips and the hamstrings. Go as deep or as, as not deep as you'd like. You're going to cupcake the hands, your favorite cupcake, lots of icing. You don't want to lose any of it. So nice and high. And then press into the finger pads and draw your chest forward. Maybe gaze goes up. As you exhale, take your hips up and back. But here comes the hamstring. 
going to float your front toes as you take your hips back. So a nice opening in the hamstring. Take it forward. And then where does your drishti land? Maybe skyward, maybe just in front. As you exhale, take it back. Where does your drishti land? Maybe to the earth. And then as you take one more, notice where you would like to linger in this movement. Just notice it. And then we'll take it back into the hamstring. And then let your body go to where you would like. So you might stay in the hamstring stretch. You might come back forward to go deeper into the hips or somewhere in between. Go where you would like to linger. Yeah, and if you're in the hamstring stretch, curl those toes towards you. Curl those toes towards you and sit. That's it. And then just drop your chin a little bit, Joanna, so the back of the neck is long. Yeah, good, beautiful. Let's see, you can do that too. Just drop your chin. Everybody's loving the hamstring stretch today. Take one more breath here. Where is your drishti? It's steady, it's steady. Wherever you've chosen to rest your eyes, one more inhale. And let it go, exhale. That's the way. Slowly coming back forward, coming into our lunge shape. And then we're going to take our left knee back by our right knee, left knee back by our right knee. You can stay here on hands and knees, or you can choose the top of a push up, mm -hmm. upper plank. Set your drishti, set your gaze, inhale. As you exhale, slowly lower to the earth, slow and steady. Take your time. And as you come down, bring the forehead to the back of your hands, make any adjustment in the shape. You might want to put the blanket under your hips or under your chest or under your forehead, wherever you like. And then as you are ready, we're going to take our arms in that cactus shape. I think I need to change the camera. Take your arms in that cactus shape. Mm -hmm. On the earth. That's it. I'm coming back down. <laughs> I'll show you in a moment. Take the arms into that cactus shape as you are on the earth. Yeah. And take an exhale here. Root the tops of your feet down into the earth and begin to lift your arms and lift your chest, but keep your gaze down to the earth. Good. Can you lift the elbows a little higher and feel like you want to hug them behind you? You want, yeah, beautiful. Root down into the feet. Keep your drishti steady, even as the sensations grow stronger. Inhale, maybe the hands lift a little higher, Nancy. Hands up, yes! And exhale all the way back down. Beautifully done. Bring the back of your hands to your forehead. Just breathe into it. Makes the way. Good. Take one more breath here. Inhale. Mm -hmm. And exhale. Good. Keep your forehead on the back of your hands. Extend your toes back, get longer through the legs. Take an exhale here and begin to float your legs. Begin to float your legs. Keep your forehead down on the back of your hands. So we're just isolating upper spine and lower spine. That's it. Reach your toes back even more. Get longer in the legs and then add the strength. Then lift the legs a little bit higher. So your inner drishti to your brow point. Notice when your eyes want to jump around, keep them steady for one more breath. Lengthen and lift. Awesome. Exhale, set it down. Set the legs down beautifully down. You just move your head side to side a little bit, get that little massage in the forehead of the frontal brain. You ready? Here's our last one, our super yogi. So now we're going to bring the arms back to that cactus shape, back to that cactus shape. Good. We're going to start with the arms, looking down towards the earth. You're going to lift the arms, let the chest follow, lift your chest. Good. You could stay here or reach the toes back and lift your legs. That's it. Beautiful. Hug your elbows in behind you and feel all that beautiful strength. Yes. And then maybe reach your fingers out to the side so we're in our super yogi pose. Beautiful. 
Awesome. Take an inhale and just explore. You got more strength than you know. Lift it up. And bring it all down. Well done. Nice. Forehead to the back of your hands. Bend your knees and take your legs side to side. Really nice. Really nice. That's it. Ah. So important to strengthen the back body. Our spine nice and tall. <clears throat> as you're ready, slowly come back. And as you're ready, hands under your shoulders and press up and back to child's pose. In child's pose, maybe let your arms go by your side so the forehead as it presses into the earth is a little more pressed. Again, you could take your head side to side for a moment so that you will feel a nice little massage there. And then where you feel center, just take a breath in your drishti. And when your mind jumps around, no worries, like it does that for all of us, right? Yoga is as much about training the body as training the mind. Yeah, maybe even more. So oh, we just keep coming back. We just keep coming back. Last breath here. Good. Rising up. Rising up. And as you are ready, we're now going to take our right foot forward to the top of the mat. So we're in our lunge shape on the other side. We're going to cupcake the hands. Lots of icing. You got it, Nancy. You want to check that your ankle's under your knee. So we're going to press into the finger pads, draw the chest forward, and let your drishti find a moment of rest somewhere. And then take your hips up and back, float your front toes, and dipping into that hamstring. And then inhale. So you might already be noticing where your body needs a little more love. So in a moment, take it back, opening up the hamstring. I'm going to flow one more time so you can just explore with the movement where your body needs a little care, needs a little attention. And then take it back. And you could stay here. This was the popular choice. So you could come back forward into the lunge shape. Wherever you've chosen, find the drishti. And let your chin be towards your chest so the back of your neck is long. Yeah, it's a sneaky one for all of us. Yeah, chin in. You got it. Nice, Hiroko. Good. Yeah. Beautiful. Nancy, move your right leg towards center a little bit more. You see, it's all, there you go. That's it. That's it. And then if you're doing the hamstring, as many of us are, curl those toes back just a titch more. And then walk your right hand in a little bit, Nancy. So, yeah, now you're lying to center. Good. Move your body over to the right, just your whole body over to the right a little bit. To the right, other right. In, yes, perfect. Inhale. Let it go. Very nice. Okay. Coming back to the lunge shape. We're going to curl those back toes under and step forward to the top of the mat. Halfway up the shins, lengthen your spine, inhale, and exhale, fold all the way down. Sit down into your chair pose. Could be a kitty chair, an office chair, a bar stool, whatever you like. Sit your tush down and float your arms up. Just a little juice for the legs here. Take an exhale, turn your tailbone towards the earth. Good, inhale, rising up. Reach up, stretch up, beautiful. Interlace your fingers in the opposite manner, just what feels unfamiliar. Press your palms up, get a little more stretch through the fingers to the forearms. Good, unlace the fingers, reach it up. Bend your elbows, come into that cactus shape, hug the elbows behind you, a little baby back bend perhaps. And then reach it up, palms together. Generous bend to the knees and swan dive, fold all the way down. That's it. That's it. Beautiful. Here we go. Getting a little more dynamic now. Again, generous bend to the knees. Step the right foot back to the back of your mat. Okay, 
So set your drishti on the earth just ahead of your mat. Let your hands climb up onto your thigh. Lift your torso up. And as we've come up, maybe your drishti is now going to go ahead of you, right? Looking straight ahead. And as you are ready, take your arms up, reach the fingers up for sky. Maybe your drishti goes a little higher. Take an inhale here. As you exhale, cactus the arms, bring them behind. Maybe the drishti goes a little higher. So wherever you are at, we're going to breathe here. Two more breaths. A little stronger, a little more dynamic. You'll notice the eyes want to jump around, keep the drishti steady. Maybe extend the arms out to the side. Palms to the sky, so we really feel this wide open heart to sky. Inhale. And exhale. Well done. Take the arms up overhead, palms touch. And then hands are going to come down. Drishti comes down to your front foot. Well done, everyone. So now with that front foot, we're gonna move into our triangle shape. So press into the front foot and lengthen the front leg as much as is comfortable. Take your left hand and move your left hip back. Move your left hip back a little bit. That's it, move your left hip back a little bit. Yeah, so there's a little more length in that front leg. And then take that left hand down. You could put it on a block or something, or you could put your hand on your shin and take your right hand to your sacrum. We're opening up into our triangle shape. So right hand comes to your sacrum. You're rooting your palm into your sacrum to draw the top shoulder back to open to the side and then reach the fingers behind you and reach skyward. Now you choose, where is your drishti going to be? As we are in this shape for a few breaths, your drishti could be to the earth, across from you, or up to that right arm skyward. Yeah, good. Set your drishti. Whatever happens in the body, just like whatever happens in life, we set the drishti, the focus. We keep it steady, best we can. That's it. Read. Joanna, beautiful. Take one more breath. See if your body can open into the shape. Just, yeah. Nice hit out. Go inhale. Well done. Exhale. Slowly fold that arm down. Both hands either side of the front foot. We'll take a moment here in this beautiful hamstring stretch right here. Again, use your left hand to move your left hip back. So that front leg is nice and long. Then cupcake the fingers, press into your fingers, lengthen your spine. So come up just a bit so you can lengthen your spine and then fold into it. Now your drishti is going to be to shin or to knee, wherever it works for you. Let your elbows be soft, let your shoulders be heavy. Really rooted to the back heel so you've got a nice foundation. Nice correction, Nancy. That's it. That's it. That's it. Beautiful. Drishti steady. Breath steady. One more. Inhale. And exhale. Really nice. As you are ready, come onto the ball of your back foot and step forward to the top of your mat. As you step forward to the top of your mat, let's take a squat. So we'll turn our feet out and we'll sit down into the squat shape. Mm -hmm. You're going to bring your palms together. <clears throat> so you set your drishti. I'm going to give you some pieces for your body to connect with in this shape. You set your drishti. Your eyes steady, mind steady. Now you can feel a little bit more the sensation in your body. Lift your toes and root into the heels. Yeah, lift your toes, like physically lift your toes. Oh, yeah, that's it. And you can keep that, keep that. Lots of action in the heels. As you root into the heels, notice you can turn your tailbone to the earth a little bit more. 
Yeah, good. And press into your palms. And notice you can grow your spine tall. Hug the shoulder blades into the spine and really feel that beautiful length and strength through your back body. And soften your chin. Soften your gaze, even though the eyes are focused. Let it be a soft gaze. And then two more breaths here. Maybe a little smile on the lips, a little curl. We're doing this because it's so yummy in our body. Such a gift to quiet and focus the mind. Last breath, inhale. And exhale. Very nice. We're going to take a journey up to standing. You could do it from the forward fold, right? Simply hands to earth and come into the forward fold. Or you could take this journey from squat. You can put your hands down wherever, whenever you need them. Slow and steady. Yeah, nice. Really strengthening up the quads to help support the knee joints. Yeah, beautifully done. And then walk your feet into their both hip width apart. And as you're ready, we'll take our arms up overhead. Lace them in a familiar way and press them up. And again, lift your toes, root your feet 10 feet down into the earth as you press your palms up and really stretch the forearms. And see so if you can get a little more distance between the hands and the feet so you feel a stretch in your belly. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Fingers to sky. Unlace the fingers. Fingers to sky. Inhale. Exhale. Bend your elbows. Cactus the arms. And then take it into that baby back bend if you like. Elbows are hugging behind you. Really feel that strength behind your heart. Really inviting with that strength in front of your heart to open the sky. Maybe let the arms lengthen out to the side. Palms skyward. Inhale. And exhale. Float the arms up, palms touch. Go a generous bend to the knees and swan dive, fold all the way down. Very nice. Very nice. Another generous bend to your knees and step your left foot back to the back of the mat. So set your drishti to the earth, right? In front of the mat to the earth. And then as you're ready, we're going to climb up that front leg. We're on the ball of the back foot. We're on the ball of the back foot. So it's just a little more challenge to the balance. That's it. And as you come up, maybe now your drishti goes right across from you. And this could be enough. You could keep your hands here or take your arms up. Mm -hmm. And cactus your arms, hug your elbows in behind you. Maybe your gaze goes up a little bit more. Possibility of that beautiful heart opening back bend here. And then maybe the arms stretch out to the side, palms skyward. As we take a couple more breaths, as it gets juicier here, legs strengthening. Yeah, very nice, beautiful, beautiful. Keep your drishti steady. Wow, incredible steadiness, really nice. Inhale, good, exhale right here. Navel to spine, strong core, that's it. And then float the arms up, palms touch. Bring the hands down by your front foot, well done, well done. Back heel now comes down. We're coming into triangle shape. So you're going to press into your front foot and lengthen the front leg to whatever is comfortable for you. And then with your right hand, draw your right hip back. With your right hand, draw it. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Good. And then set your right hand down on the earth, on your shin, wherever you like. Left palm goes to sacrum. All right. Left palm goes to sacrum. So that we can root into the sacrum and draw the top shoulder back, opening the body to the side. Reach the fingers back behind you and then up to the sky or wherever it works for you, right? They could stay at your waist, at your hip, wherever it works for you. And then set your drishti to the earth, across from you, up to the sky. Yeah, lean your torso back a little bit. Lean for all of us. Lean. Yes. Very nice. 
Beautiful. A soft micro bend in the top arm, Joanna and Leslie, just so you get a little more play, a yeah, little more opening through the shoulder joint. Good, good. Nice. Taking one more breath here. Drishti steady. Mind steady. Inhale. Exhale. Well done. Fold the top arm down. Well done. Hands either side of the front foot. Cupcake the hands. Finger is facing forward to the top of the mat when you cup. Yeah, that's it. That's it. And again, draw your right hip back. Draw your right hip back. Press into the fingers. Lengthen your spine. Right, right up for most of us, right up at mid back thoracic. That's it. Nice, Joanna. And then fold down. Fold it down. You got it, Hilko. You got it. Fold it down. Now set your drishti to your knee if your eyes are closed to brow point. That's it. That's it. Just a couple more breaths here. Doing great. Mm -hmm. Beautiful opening of the hamstring, lengthening of the spine. A little traction here. Gravity helping us to lengthen our spine. Take one more breath. Inhale. And exhale. Well done. Come on to the ball of the back foot. Step forward to the top of your mat. At the top of your mat, coming into squat. So turn your feet out, sit down into squat, hands at your heart. Mm -hmm. Set your drishti, set your gaze. And you might notice that where you focus your eyes will change your experience. So you could perhaps have your drishti towards the earth and just notice what that feels like. You could take your drishti upward a little bit, a little higher than the horizon. And notice how that feels. And then choose what serves you. One very calming, towards the earth very calming. And then up above the horizon, a little more energizing. So choose what serves you. And as you set your drishti, root into your heels, root your palms, lengthen the spine. Just a few more breaths here. Mind. And the eyes wander, no worries, no worries, just come back, just come back. Back to your drishti. One more, maybe a little smile, just a tiny little one. <laughs> nice. Good job. And let it go. Lovely, okay, let's come all the way down to sitting. And I know nobody really asked for it, but we're going to have a little core here. <laughs> have a blanket nearby. I'm going to turn the screen down so you can see me a little bit better. Have a blanket nearby. Mm -hmm. Now, as you're ready, I'll turn the side so you can see me. Let's take a moment and let's just hug our knees. It's a nice squeeze. And then as you're ready, open that up. And we're going to hold behind our thighs, kind of hold behind your thighs and extend each leg in turn, right? So you could keep them in quite close, but we're going to gaze at our toes. Our drishti is to those beautiful toes. They don't get enough love. Send them lots of love. You could lengthen them up, right? So go, boat pose. You could go to where you like. Yeah, lots of support behind the thighs. If you like, your arms can be out to the side. But the key while we are moving into more core strength is the drishti. So the gaze is steady. The gaze is steady. Ah, beautiful toes and feet, everyone. <laughs> Take one more breath here. Inhale. That's it. That's it. And very slowly come out. Very slowly come out. And just let your feet come down to the earth. Take an inhale here. Good, as you exhale, extend your right leg in front and just fold your left leg in. So a moment here, as I'm noticing, we were mostly choosing the hamstring stretch, so we'll just dip in a little bit more here. Walk the fingers forward. 
Let your drishti be to your knee, to your shin. So back of neck is long. If you're not sure, just feel it. Just have a little, take your finger, your hand there and feel the lengthening. If your left leg isn't on the earth, have something under it to support it. It's going into that right hamstring a little more deeply. For two more breaths. Good. And slowly rising up. And as you rise up, we're going to draw the right knee in, take the left up, give it a little, your body a little hug, a little love, and then hold behind. Only two times. Happy to say, hug behind the thighs. Extend one leg out, just get your bearings on that, and send the other one up. Go to where it makes sense for you. You want to feel something going on in the core. If you feel something going on in your back, bend your knees more, right? You could choose to have no support here and have your knees really bent. If you feel anything in the low back, right? If it feels good for your back, then you're gonna take the legs up a little higher, maybe palms out. Drishti to your toes for two more breaths. I won't talk much longer for, for one more breath. Drishti to your toes, inhale. And exhaling slowly down. Well done, slowly down. And this time we will extend our right leg, left leg and fold the right leg in the other side. <laughs> and something under the leg if you need. And make sure, right? So Nancy, that leg come up neck, bring it right out of the hip. That's it. And then hands either side and just walk it forward. And let your drishti settle to knee, to shin, to wherever it makes sense for you. Keeping the back of your neck nice and long. Pardon the pun, but we're in the home stretch. Shavasana is calling us. So let your breath begin to really slow and deepen. Drishti steady. Okay, steady. Two more breaths. One more breath. Inhale. Next. Yeah. Slowly rising up. Take your time. As you rise up, bring that left knee in, bring that right leg up, and just give yourself a nice big hug. We're going all the way down to the earth. So a nice deep hug here. Hold opposite elbows, really squeeze in. And then open it up. We're going to bring a blanket under your head and a bolster to come under your knees. As you are ready, you can go behind your thighs or arms to the side and just slowly roll your spine down, nice and slow and steady. Mm -hmm. And as you come down, just once again, draw your knees in. But now you're gonna feel there's more of a lengthening of the spine. Oh, chin tucks in towards your chest, tailbone presses down into the earth spine, nice and long. And open your arms out to the side and see if you can get that a little bend in your elbow so you can hug the shoulder blades in behind you. So really keep the back nice and steady, hugging into the earth and then drop your knees over to the right. And that bolster can come with you. Just use your feet to come into a little twist right here. Let's see if you can keep for today, really keep that strength in the back body, shoulder blades hugging in. You might not be able to twist as far, right? The legs might not be able to go over as far. You're gonna get a twist a little bit up more in thoracic where I think a lot of us need a little more opening in the spine. So for today, that's where we're gonna focus. You can draw your knees up 
towards your arm a little bit more and you'll take it up the spine a little bit more. Just take a few more breaths here. Keep hugging the shoulder blades in to the spine. Two more breaths, your drishti, steady. And at the end of your next exhale, knees coming up to center. You can help them as you need. And over to the other side. And again, hug. Hug the shoulder blades in. And it might make sense to you to drop the back of the right ribs down to the earth. And that's going to give you a little more access. So we're just getting a little bit higher up on the spine where it looked like a lot of our bodies needed to get a little bit more flexibility. And the more you draw your knees towards your arm, mm -hmm, that's it. You're going to feel it go up a little bit higher. Mm -hmm. Set. So a few more breaths here. Where is your drishti? Set your gaze. As you exhale, when you're ready, slowly coming up and give your knees one more hug in. So you can really now feel the twists help to open up the spine. And so now we're back into the length. So you might feel you've got more length in your spine now. All right, so tailbone hugs down, shin drawn in, so back of neck is long. And then if you'd like, just before we go into Shavasana, if you'd like to move your knees around a little bit more, go into the hip joints in a nice easy way. So do you want, that might be nice just to get a little more loosey-goosey through the hip joint if they have been stretched a lot. If you want to feel more loosey-goosey through the low back, just circle with the knees together. Yeah, nice. And then let the ankles go, lest they just shake your toes and get the ankles go. That's it. And when that feels complete for you, just extend each leg in turn with the cushion under your legs. So each leg extends in turn so that you can get a little more length and turn your tailbone towards your heels. So you've got that beautiful length at the base of your spine. You can lengthen the back of your neck and soften your chin. So spine is beautifully long. Mm hmm good. Take a nice deep inhale here. Let it go. And now settle your inner drishti. Settle your inner drishti. Could be a brow point. It could be a brow point. It could be at navel center, power center. Could be at heart center. Choose where your inner drishti will land. And it's like an anchor point, like dropping an anchor down to the depths of the ocean, to that still point. So while your inner gaze a soft focal point, a resting point. You can sense and feel the aliveness moving through your body, the tingling, the warmth, blood, pumping, flowing, breath, flowing. You can sense and Feel the aliveness around you in the space. A breeze, sounds. At this anchor point, we are present. Fully alive, awake. In this moment, in this life.
Now feel your breath. Feel your body. Feel your breath flowing through your whole body, the aliveness, your whole body. Feel welcome to to rest here, right? to, to linger in sweet, sweet Shavasana. If you feel ready, if this is complete for you, begin to wiggle your fingers and toes. To circle through your ankles and wrists. Fold your arms overhead and do a beautiful whole body stretch, like a whole body yawn. Good. And then to draw your knees in for one last big, beautiful hug. Mm -hmm. Yummy. Good. And rolling to your side <clears throat> or rock and rolling and coming up to seated, whichever way works best for you. Ah, lovely. Let's bring our palms and rub our palms together. And bring the palms to heart center. Thank you so much for joining the practice today, for making it to the mat, for taking time to come present, to take care. May all beings everywhere be healthy, happy, peaceful, and free. Namaste.